The renowned M1 Abrams has been America's premier main tank battle for more than 40 years, and this is thanks to a protracted sequence of progressive modifications that have allowed it to keep up its reputation as one of the most formidable pieces of military equipment. In response to the introduction of next-generation advanced tanks by foreign militaries that fire, maneuver, and interact at a higher level than their predecessors, General Dynamics is launching Abrams X, an Abrams for a modern generation of warfighting. The Abrams X tank demonstrator model debuted in front of the general public on the exhibition floor of the most recent annual conference of the Association of the United States Army. Incorporating cutting-edge defensive technologies like drone launchers and artificial intelligence, Abrams X, which sports a stunning grey and black sawtooth paint job, intends to address some of the Army's long-standing complaints about the M1. This demonstrator vehicle is a step to combine several groundbreaking technologies and advancements that will advance the tank systems for many years to come. Is an Abrams likely to exist in 2050? Maybe something very similar, like a platform to heavy armor that is deadly and well-connected? Maybe. The Army is taking these challenges into account as it evaluates its prospective force and works to integrate potential new technology into the operating army. It's vital to understand that the new Abrams X tank is a privately led initiative led by manufacturers rather than an army program. In 1979, the M1 was first presented by the GDLS to replace worn-out main combat tanks. Before moving to the M60 pattern, the American Army had several tanks, the first of which was the M26 Pershing, which made its debut in 1945. All of the subsequent tanks, the M26 to M60, were logical evolutions of the one that came before them. With the M1, there were so many improvements, like the gasoline-powered turbine engine, ballistic computer, an angled turret, and many other improvements introduced. It was a fantastic design that deviated from this series. The changes made the M1 tank more protected, quicker, sleeker, and able to fight at night. It was a substantial upgrade in every way. Over time, the M1 has also undergone similar modifications. The newly upgraded tank was deployed for the first time in the 80s and included a depleted uranium armor that considerably increased the armor protection despite being heavy and an improved 120mm main cannon. Other upgrades were added to the Abrams M1A2 that significantly improved it, like the computerized backbone, upgraded crew ballistic protection, an infrared vision feature that allowed visibility even when turned off, and many others. The most significant improvement to the M1 Abrams since its introduction is the Abrams X. Modern technologies are integrated into the exterior and interior designs of the car. Mobility, protection and firepower, the three original features of the Abrams, are all much improved. Let's analyze the mentioned features and a few new ones. Social media platforms have identified the 120mm main gun of the next generation tank as XM360 which will replace the M256's 120mm main cannon. This new main cannon was initially designed for a future combat systems project started in the early 2000s to serve as a replacement for the Army's present armored vehicles. Even though the project cost $18 billion, it only ended up delivering only one operable armored tank. This new XM360, which uses the same cartridge as the M256, has the same caliber. It also features at the muzzle a muzzle brake that works in a pepper pot design to minimize recoil. The entire gun system is made of composite and titanium materials to reduce the system and tank's overall weight. The press release from General Dynamics claims that the new Abrams X boasts a smaller crew, but it doesn't provide any other information. The driver, loader, gunner, and commander who make up the existing Abrams crew are reinforced with an automatic loader in recently manufactured tanks like the South Korean K2. The Abrams X will be the first Abrams model to use an automatic loading system. An XM914 chain gun will be installed in place of the commander and loader machine gun. Since the XM914 chain gun will be placed on a gun system that can be operated remotely, the crew can fire while employing an infrared imaging system to aim in the dark and through the smoke. As a result, the crew can save actual gun ammo for enemy tanks that pose a deadly threat while using the turret deployed to target drones, poorly armored vehicles, and infantry. This subtly increases the main gun's ammunition supply. The Abrams X also improves at providing security. 
The whole shape of the Abrams X and older Abrams offer the same protection since they have similar shaping. The autonomous turret is said to have an active defense system that fires at missiles and rockets even though there is no human operator on board. There is a sizable topside plate that will vent the gun ammo stored inside the turret away from the three-person crew or upwards in case of an explosion. With the use of specialized infrastructure, the Abrams X active protection system for the army can be equipped with whatever explosive or sensor the army needs. It is designed to support any unique solution the army may need. Compared to Abrams X, no Abrams has been as mobile. Tank weight has increased over time due to significant advancements, going from 60 to about 74 tons in just 40 years. Undoubtedly one of the biggest and most significant improvements built into the Abrams X is its hybrid electric and diesel engine. This hybrid engine technology can considerably improve the usage of fuel while enhancing longevity with lower thermal and noise characteristics. The Abrams X has a hybrid powertrain and, according to General Dynamics, burns 50% less fuel than the previous model. Additionally, some weight is saved. The Abrams X is yet the only newly improved Abrams to be equipped with a diesel engine compared to the gas engine of the old Abrams. The gasoline engine has been a technical barrier since the Army's entire fleet of vehicles uses diesel. While hybrid propulsion can increase a vehicle's environmental influence, the creators of General Dynamics land systems emphasize that its primary role is majorly operational. A hybrid engine would not only boost fuel efficiency and reduce the amount and cost of using the gasoline engine, but it would also improve survival in different ways. A reduced cost and an improved resupply path shield more soldiers from the enemy's line of fire, while also leaving fewer targets for the opposition. Aside from the three vital protection, firepower and mobility features, another essential feature is the sensors. A hybrid system provides a silent watch or the ability to use arms and sensors without leaving a thermal or acoustic trail. This enhances the vehicle's lethality and longevity while also expanding its operational window dramatically. The third generation forward-looking infrared sensor targeting systems, which allow high resolution and a wider range coverage targeting armored offensive strike missions, significantly boosts these benefits. Most likely, the Abrams X's hybrid engine for the tank includes a larger size battery system that can power these sensors for extended periods. With the help of reinforced cameras that capture a 360-degree view image, the tank crew has a complete 360-degree view without leaving the tank. It is also equipped with radar sensors pointing upward towards the tank's rear. This implies that the active defensive system of Abrams X can identify and neutralize advanced arms like the Swedish NLAW and American Javelin. There will surely be controversy over the crew's reduction from four to three. The American Army prefers human loaders due to the technical shortcomings of early autoloaders, particularly the Soviet autoloaders. The initial four-person crew also means that there will be extra eyes on the tank if it needs to stop in an enemy-infested area. However, because of improvements in autoloader technology and an improved combined arm structure, the infantry is situated near tanks. The redesigned crew setup allows the three crew members to work and engage in combat simultaneously, rather than being stationed independently. According to General Dynamics, the cognitive burden on the smaller crew will be reduced, although it is unclear how. Unmanned armored vehicles can operate together with the tank, but it is unknown how a three-person crew can operate an unmanned vehicle and the tank. This is where artificial intelligence may come in handy. Another novel feature of the Abrams X is the Integrated Catalyst Next Generation Electronic Architecture, NGEA, a modular open architecture created independently by GDLS and utilizing artificial intelligence for object recognition and detection, automatic target prioritization and navigation assistance and flight planning and obstacle avoidance. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and other next-generation combat systems such as the NGEA provide situational awareness tools such as see-through armor, which is accomplished using perimeter camera systems and provides tank crews with an unobstructed view of the battlefield. Another modern combat improvement can be found at the back of the Abrams X. Four launchers for Switchblade 300 missiles or the Kamikaze or suicide drones. The crew controls these unmanned aerial systems from the front of the hull. 
While traveling to their target, the switchblades act as a camera, broadcasting the signal from their sensors back to the crew and expanding their coverage up until detonation. Their principal function, however, is as hovering precision missiles. Because the Abrams X is a vast improvement from the original Abrams, will the formidable American Army purchase it? The American Army has unsuccessfully attempted multiple times to substitute the older tanks, so purchasing this generation tank is the easiest alternative. The tank, however, is a technological demonstrator and is not yet ready for usage. Yes, we know the Army has a large number of Abrams tanks and has previously repaired earlier tanks to cut costs. Remanufacturing may not be possible with the Abrams X due to the numerous changes made to it, including new turrets, engines, and main guns. Although conversations with the Army have already begun, Abrams X's future remains uncertain. The debut of the Abrams X and the multiple enhancements it incorporates into the system may raise some exciting new questions about the future of the Abrams tank and the continued use of heavy weapons. Heavy platforms, while working within specified limits, may be able to collaborate with robotic vehicles, unmanned systems, and rapid lightweight attack platforms to provide fast-moving forces with firepower and heavy formation support. And that brings us to the end of this video. Do you think the US Army will purchase the Abrams X? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.